have Rudolph, Two Ways, Glammed Up, or Bloody. I am so sorry if the colors seem off in this video. My camera was set all strange and everything looks super blue, but I messed with it. I think I fixed it for the most part. So first, as usual, we are going to prime our face and apply our foundation. And then my skin has been breaking out like crazy. So I'm going to take this yellow undertoned concealer from Lancome to conceal all my blemishes and tone down any redness to them. Next, using this contour kit, I am taking the dark shade. It has more red undertone to it and pretty much just overly contouring my face. Focus on the hairline and bring that down about halfway down your forehead. You'll want to get the hollows of your cheeks and starting behind the ear, bring that down the neck and then back up towards the chin and along the jawline. Same thing on the other side. And then I'm taking this Shaft of Gold by MAC. It's just an overly shimmery bronzer and applying that over the top of those areas. And then I'm going to overly contour my nose as well using the Shaft of Gold. And then I'm going to take that same concealer from earlier and do the bridge of my nose and then overly highlight my forehead. And then I'm just blending that in with a contour brush and taking that powder over the top of that harsh line there just to blend that a little better. For the cheeks, I'm taking this pink blush and applying that right on the apples of my cheeks. Now taking this palette by Estee Lauder, I'm using this dark brown shade to contour my nose even further. And then taking my jumbo stick by NYX, it, n taking my jumbo stick by NYX in milk, I am drawing on my mouth. And then I'll down my neck, I'm putting where the white fur would be. And then for brows, I am actually mapping out my brows, which is something I never do. Based on where my iris is, I am putting that where my, um, where my arch will be. And then just drawing in my brows. And then I just took my finger to kind of smudge the white along my neck, just to blend that a little better. And now taking my jumbo stick once more, I'm going to draw on some dots right above my eyebrow and along my cheeks. Symmetry is not really a big deal here, I didn't think, since it's supposed to look somewhat natural. So I just drew them on. And then also down my neck where the white is, I drew them along that as well. And then next I'm going to put in my contacts, but first I'm going to wash my hands. It's good to put your contacts in before you do your eye makeup. It just makes it a little bit easier. And then so before I start my eyeshadow, I'm going to put the jumbo stick in milk along my eyes, just kind of as a primer. And then taking matte side, I started to put that on my lid, but then decided I'd like to have it in my crease as of my transition shade. So I just worked that into my crease and then followed that with matte rosin in my outer corner and just in the crease, avoiding the inner corner. And then taking Matt Garcia, I put that just in the crease and along the lower lash line. Okay, so for my liner, I'm using the little black liner by Estee Lauder. I'm using the fine tip on the top of my eye and the thick tip on the bottom. Once I get to the center of my bottom lash line, instead of following the natural curve of my bottom lash line, I'm actually just bringing that out to be a straight line there so it doesn't actually connect with my bottom lash line. And then I'm just taking a white eyeshadow and putting that on the inner corner just to brighten that up a little bit. And then I'm applying these Broadway lashes and then I just applied a little bit of mascara on my natural lashes before I put those on. Lastly, I am drawing on my red nose using a water activated red face paint. And last for the lips, I'm using Lime Crime Cashmere Matte Lipstick and then I am using Night Moth by MAC to line my lips. And you can stop there and keep a glam, glammed up reindeer or you can take it to the next step and give yourself a bloody ornament nose. And for that, all I did was cut up a ornament. It was silver and then I just painted it red and to attach it, I just used my finger to apply some liquid latex onto the edges where the ornament would be touching my nose and then just plopped that on. And next, I used my 
water activated red face paint to go over it just to make the red pop a little bit because the paint was coming off. And then you'll just want to take the red face paint and put that along the edges so it, your skin doesn't show. And then using red and black and brown, I mix those together to make the blood coming down from the ornament. And that's it and you are done with this makeup. I hope you all liked it. Let me know if you did. Give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I put up new videos every week and I will see you guys next time.